else your existence is concerned. And <coughs> it is such a beautiful center, is your heart center. You want somebody to do something for your thoughts. You want that somebody should eat or something, you find somebody very obstinate. I have told you that you can beat them with shoes, do all those things, but that's a very simple way if you know how to do it. You see, you just think of their ridai, their heart, and put a bandhan to that. And you can do it so beautifully. You can melt a person without any difficulties if you know how to handle their heart. You have to appeal to their heart. And that's the best attraction, actually, and the best secret method by which you can bring good in them. When you are talking to somebody, supposing I now, intellectually if I start quarreling with you, you'll give me up in no time. But I have to use your heart power and I have to enter into your heart and that is how it works. So always when you want to do something like that, just humble down yourself in your heart. That is first. First of all, you must humble down yourself in your heart. And from there you work on the heart of others. Just put a bandhan and you will see a person will melt away. We melt our intelligence, our ego, everything, even your super ego in your heart. So it's a very easy thing if you know how to approach people through their heart. And that is only possible if you are genuine. Because genuineness is something that a heart recognizes. You can befool a person with your cunning methods, but the heart will recognize it later on. And the person will hate you. Even if you talk to someone, oh, very much, very good, thank you, very, very nice. And the heart knows, oh, he's trying to befool me and he is very cunning. The heart is going to hate such a person. And heart has the art to see and feel the person. So if you could appeal to somebody's heart and put a bandhan on the heart, you can melt that person. And if you love someone and if you want that person should be corrected, supposing such a person is a drunkard or a person who beats you and is torturing you because he's under the spell of some drugs or some sort of a foreign thing, then you just put bandhan to his heart and you'll see they'll be changing. They'll be changing very fast and that's why it's a change of heart everywhere you find. In every scripture it is written, change of heart is needed, not the change of clothes. So it's not intellectual change but, or rational change, but it is the change of heart and that is brought about by moving the heart chakra on the right hand side in the clockwise manner. That is the heart itself in the clockwise manner. If you can do that, you can really do marvels. And that's how on a collective basis the heart is sort of the innermost, innermost string of the collective one string that is passing through all of us. So if you could strike at the innermost, because in a three and a half circle, that's the innermost point. If you touch there, it passes over this. Supposing you touch somewhere else, then it might break. But at the beginning, if you start striking it, it goes very nicely and passes into complete circumference.